There was a time when only the biggest distributors had e-commerce sites, while other smaller companies dismissed it as too expensive, too redundant, or not what my customers are interested in. I think it's become clear over the past decade that those years and those objections are gone. And as the business case for e-commerce increases continuously, there are also fewer barriers to entry as tools like cloud and SaaS offer options for big and small distributors alike. But there's more to the story than just creating a transactional hub because your customers want it. Today, we're joined by Lance Owide, who's the director of business groups and B2B general manager for Big Commerce, a company that attempts to offer enterprise level e-commerce capabilities without the complexity and high costs associated with other solutions. I think that distributors sometimes look at e-commerce as a necessary customer tool. Right. Um, but they don't always look at some of the business enhancements that come along with that. So I'd like to talk about some of those. What do you think are some of the biggest misconceptions that distributors have about the role of e-commerce as a tool within their own business? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, and there are a lot of them. Uh, but picking out a few that we hear most often here at Big Commerce, and I think the number one will come as a surprise to no one. Uh, e-commerce will be competitive to my sales team. It'll create channel conflict. It's going to replace my sales team. You know, this, uh, this is all about business relationships. And our customers want to speak to my salespeople. And that, that's, of course, true. Um, but e-commerce is about replacing repeatable menial tasks and up-leveling the sales team um, and enabling buyers to be able to self-serve. Studies show that 80% of B2B buyers want to be able to self-serve product research order on their own without speaking to a salesperson. And uh, e-commerce is a, is a great way to do that. I hear from many folks that um, are implementing e-commerce for the first time. You Do we need an internal IT team? Uh, how am I going to build out that team? How am I going to find the expertise? There are agencies out there all over the, the globe that have teams dedicated to doing this. It's all they do all day. Um, and they aren't as expensive as you would think. And when it comes to the technology itself, that's the beauty of, of SaaS, software as a service. If you go for an e-commerce SaaS provider, you're not responsible for the servers. You're not responsible for upgrading or for security. It's all taken care of as part of the package. So with the right agency and with the right software as a, as a service provider, um, actually spinning up an e-commerce store can be, can be reasonably cheap. All right. How can distributors look at the benefits of integrating e-commerce into their sales process? Uh, you mentioned before that this is not to compete with your existing sales team, right? So let's talk about how actually this could make your sales team perhaps even more effective. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. The e-commerce channel shouldn't compete with your sales team. It should make them more highly leveraged and efficient. Well, you can do that across a number of areas. The first is obviously automating routine tasks and manual data entry. Right, orders today and quote requests today might be coming through phone, email, fax, or text message, any number of uh, medium. And you want to take all of that and move that online so that your sales team can focus on upselling, on bringing in new logos, on cross selling, on new, new brands. Um, that's where your sales team should be spending their time, not on the manual data entry that isn't delivering real added value for your distributor business, right? Um, but once you're online, you're always able to take orders. Your sales team are asleep. That isn't gonna stop you from taking a new order. I was recently speaking to a, a book distributor here at Big Commerce who has an online store. Um, they have an average order value of about $1,500. That's the average order. They woke up one morning to find a million dollar order had been placed through their e-commerce portal from a customer they'd never heard of before. Your sales teams would jump for joy. Your CEOs would jump for joy at hearing that story if it was their distributor business that it happened to. And that's what e-commerce can enable. You're open for business all hours to anyone, right? You can be found by anyone. Um, customer loyalty. Uh, I often find that distributors don't think about the benefits that e-commerce can bring to customer loyalty, right? Uh, a number of our agency partners, Gartner and Forrester, have done studies that show 90% of B2B buyers will turn to a competitor if 
the distributor's digital channel, i.e. their e-commerce channel, can't keep up with their demands, right? So you may have great, strong relationships with your customers, but if you can't meet their requirements, they are telling they are telling agencies and analysts that they will leave. And so you need to be able to keep up. And lastly, uh, data. Data, data, data. We're all talking about it. But being able to cohort and segment your customers into groups that you can then upsell to, you can merchandise new products to, is incredibly important. Your sales teams are already doing it. And this is just putting new information in their hands that they can leverage when they're going after upsell opportunities and that will make them much more efficient. And that is enabled through an e-commerce portal. You can collect so much more data. Which products did they click on look at but not purchase? You don't have that when you're on the phone. Absolutely. All right. From a customer standpoint, what can e-commerce provide to enhance the traditional distributor customer service model? You mentioned upselling. Let's talk a little bit more about how you can really get to know those customers and make that process much more efficient and effective with those customers. Yeah, that's a, that's a great question too. To answer that, I think we have to put ourselves in the customer's shoes. Um, what does a customer who's coming to purchase from us, what do they care about? Um, and one of our agency partners, Wonderman Thompson, did a great study on this. Um, they asked B2B buyers um, what their KPIs are, their key performance indicators. And the number one KPI for B2B buyers is purchasing efficiency. That came above price. So when I'm purchasing on behalf of my company, I care more about purchasing efficiency than I do necessarily price. And if we think about it, that sort of makes sense. When I'm purchasing for myself, um, I'll take time to do the research. I'll look at products that I don't end up buying. I'll spend ages scrolling through Amazon, um, looking at potential products to buy. When I'm purchasing on behalf of my business, that's time that I could be spent with my family, um, out for a walk with my dog or doing something else or doing something that may be more highly leveraged for the business. And so I care about purchasing efficiency and getting this purchase through as quickly as possible, of course, um, whilst ensuring that I have all the right approval workflows um, and that invoicing is, is simple and easy to do um, and that I can create the purchase orders, etc. cetera. Um, so what does that mean? What does purchasing efficiency mean? Well, it means that customers want to perform their own research right? They want to manage all of their orders online and not just orders, but invoices, quotes, approval workflows. Um, if I have a senior or junior buyer in my team and he or she is going to build up a list of items that uh, we may need to purchase, uh, maybe my junior buyer isn't able to hit the buy button, but my senior buyer is. I don't want my junior buyer to have to email the list to my senior buyer to then perform some form of manual data entry. No, let's move all of that online. Make it efficient, right? Make it efficient. And if you can move all of that into your e-commerce experience, uh, you'll have customers spending longer on your site. And we all know from the B2C world, right? When we're, when we're consumers, the longer someone stays on your site, the more likely they are to purchase. And that's true in B2B land too. So this isn't just great for uh, customers. Uh, it's great for, for, for merchants too. 